Hi everybody, this comes from guns.com. Um, we've all heard about, you know, automating everything and setting everything to robotics. And to be honest, I kind of already thought this technology was already in use. I mean, this isn't that hard. Um, Army's testing Tower Hawk remote outposts. Basically putting a gun on a giant tower system that is either automated or you know, it's remotely operated off-site so that nobody actually has to shoot uh, the gun and actually be in harm's way during the shooting. Um, I forget what... Um, I, I think Red Dragon actually did a system similar to this for a... Uh, uh, what was it? Um, it was some mercenary company. They wanted um, they wanted the guns on their vehicles to run on you know um, a robotic system where it would pivot and turn on a wheel and you know inside the operators could control it with a joystick or a, some kind of a I think they ended up using a PS2 controller or something like that. Well, this is the same thing really going on. Um, in an effort to get more muzzle on the perimeter with a few fewer Joes on the wall, the military is trialing the new Tower Hawk system in a series of tests at an expeditionary outpost set up in a scrub at Fort Bliss. The Army is testing some remote guard towers in a can. Um... In a series of, yeah, okay. <gasps> Shipped in a standard Connex Tower Hawk is a containerized weapon system that can be set up by a team of six soldiers under an hour. Atop the control, or the container, is a mount that can accept anything from a minigun to a Browning M2 50 caliber machine gun or a uh, 338 Lapua sniper rifle. Video feeds with a thermal and infrared view loop tower into uh, the post's overall defense network and augment traditional base security. Uh, the weapons can be raised, lowered, rotated 360 degrees, and fired remotely by soldiers safely buttoned up in a bunker and allow a single operator to control it wherever its conventional combat outpost takes four to six soldiers doing 8 or 12 hour shifts to man weapon a one man weapon system on a perimeter uh, every soldier of a sign is securing the perimeter is one I don't have to have that can execute support missions said Lieutenant Colonel Raphael Heflin commander of 142nd Combat Services Support Battalion 1st Armored Division and a release from the United States Army the US Army one is here. So here is the US Army one. It's called DVIDS. Or at least that's what this is called. This is being called a, a remote controlled weaponized augmented soldier one perimeter NIE 16.1. This is coming out of Fort Bliss, Texas. Remotely controlled weapon systems have drastically reduced number of soldiers needed for perimeter security and expeditionary base camp here. All right, this is the same thing here, uh, or CSSB, 1st Armored Division. So everything I've said is basically here. I'll post both of these for you. I'll even move this over here. Here, I will move it over here so that I know where this secondary source is coming from. This is coming straight from DVIDS via the United States Army. So, and the branches thereof. So as you can see, this is standard and this is this is a good post. Thanks. Yeah, I don't have the lights on. Sorry. You you know what I look like. You know everything. Thank you.